What is up everybody? Steve here. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about Jerome Powell. We're going to talk about rising mortgage interest rates. We're going to talk about institutional investors and we're also going to talk about what you guys could be doing right now to prepare whether you're a seller, buyer, or investor. So let's dive into this article first. We have an article by The Housing Wire. As always, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for you guys. The housing market correction will be deep and ugly. <clears throat> you think things are bad in the housing market now? Stick around and see if mortgage rates climb into the 7% range. Think about that for a second, guys. If mortgage rates jump up to 7% or higher, and I think that they probably will, what is that going to do for housing affordability with the peak prices that we're at right now? Just contemplate that for a second. Chairman Jerome Powell sent a clear message. The ongoing housing market correction, which brought the largest mortgage rates increase in four decades, is far from an end. We're going to talk a little bit more about some of his quotes. I'm also going to link um, the video for Jerome Powell after he did the la uh, last rate hike. He is telling us there's going to be pain in the market. There's going to be a recession. There's going to be a reset in housing. He is saying it out of his own mouth. So we need to be prepared for this. Builders are having a hard time finding lots, workers, and material, Powell said. For the long term, what we need is supply and demand to get better aligned so house prices go up at a more reasonable pace and people can afford houses. Probably the housing market needs to go into a correction to get to that place. So far, the tightening of the monetary policy led the 30-year fixed mortgage rate to 6.29%. And as of today, right now, September 23rd, Mortgage News Daily is pinned at 6.62% for the average 30-year fixed. Um, impacted by higher rates, house prices are softening and home sales have decreased. However, the number of homes for sale remain well below normal markets. Now, we do have a housing shortage right now in terms of housing shortage on the market for sale. So this is why it's very, very important that if you guys or in the market to buy real estate, I highly suggest that you guys are going after properties that are off market. Now there is a company that I wanna show you guys and in the description there is an affiliate link, but you guys can get access to over 1,000 potentially motivated sellers for free for about seven days. And uh, I'll just show you guys really quickly the, um, the shot right here. It's called Batch Leads. You get a thousand seller buyer leads for free and you can start your free seven day trial right there. Now, why do I say it's important to go after off market? For one thing, you're gonna get a better deal, odds are. So if you're competing with everybody else on market for the same property, even though we're in a kind of a suppressed real estate market at this point in time, the better deals come from people that are not on the market. They're not a for sale by owner. They're not listed with a real estate agent on the MLS. These are people that they're maybe contemplating on selling. And this system right here allows you guys the opportunity to actually get in front of them, see what their motivation is, see how you can help them and see how you guys can create a win-win situation for both of you guys. Um, it goes on to say, but the biggest takeaway for the mortgage industry is that Powell remained completely unflinging in his commitment to height rakes as much as it takes to tackle inflation. Mortgage-backed securities are right about the worst place on the duration spectrum for this move. The actual 30-year uh, fixed rate are well above 6.5% right now. And the 30-year fixed mortgage was at 6.62% Thursday afternoon, up 20 basis points compared to the previous day, Mortgage News Daily reported. And I guess that's where we're at today. So that's based on yesterday's data. Uh, rates are up over 300 uh, basis points year over year, the largest trailing 12-month increase since the early 1980s. Uh, to in understand the impact on borrowers, this week's increase in mortgage rates to 6.29% resulted in a monthly payment of $400,000 loan 
of $2,470 compared to $1,660 a year ago. Now, I have a tip for you guys. If you guys are in the market uh, considering selling and you guys have one of these incredible mortgage interest rates, say three and a half, three percent, maybe even lower than that, what I suggest you do, if you guys do not need the money from the sale to move on and maybe buy another property, whatever the case is, it may benefit you guys to hang on to that property and rent it out. Now, I'm not saying you guys have to be full on management in any sense, but my suggestion is to actually uh, reach out to maybe a real estate agent, have them pull comps and see what they think the... Um, the average uh, rental rate for that property would be. And then you um, basically take your principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and also add a certain amount for management, so maybe 10% for management, and then another 10% for reserve. So if something goes wrong with the property, you have kind of a buffer account that will compensate for you know any kind of issues that come up with that property if there's a good spread there and you're making money you might want to consider hanging on to the property because you can create residual income for you and your family but also there are incredible tax benefits associated with owning um, rental properties with debt because you guys have um, you know all the benefits of tax write-offs off that interest but also you have what's called depreciation of the asset I'm not an accountant so be sure you guys speak to an accountant about that but that is a fantastic way to offset income and uh, hands down professional real estate investors they don't pay any taxes on their income so it's something to consider if you guys are possibly selling your property where is the housing market headed? Looking ahead, loan officers have started to expect mortgage rates at 7% level, a sign that the housing market correction will bring even greater affordable affordability challenges in the year to come. And uh, what happens when things are unaffordable? We're going to see values, real estate values, continue to decline, assuming mortgage rates stay higher. After the Fed raised rates yesterday, we need now see the 10-year Treasury up at three point, almost 3.7%. Now, this is the last point I want to make on this. If the 10-year Treasury is at 3.7%, that's actually not a bad return when you actually look at the average cap rate in the United States right now. Because there was so much money pumped into the system and mortgage rates were so low for so long, it brought the cap rate very low. So cap rate is what uh, is uh, an easy tool to figure out basically uh, valuation for a property. So it's your net operating income divided by your purchase price. So when we're looking at real estate, if I'm looking at like a beachfront property, whatever the case is, I would want at least like a 7%. Um, if I'm looking at a property that's more of a uh, difficult property, I would want 15, 20%. The average uh, cap rate right now, I think, is like 4.6%. So here's my point. All of these institutional investors, as well as other investors that are getting, say, the average of, say, 4.5%, and all the liability associated with owning that property, all the liability with the house, issues with the house, tenants, tenants breaking things, non-payment from tenants, vacancies, and so forth, they could remove that entire headache if they got rid of their real estate portfolios and started buying into treasuries. So it's something to think about because I think we're going to start seeing institutional investors start to pivot, start to cash out on inventory. And uh, a lot of the institutional investors have decent equity in on their properties as well. So it would not surprise me to see institutional investors start to sell off inventory and as mentioned i have that affiliate link in the description below for batch leads and uh, as mentioned you can get a free seven day trial that can include up to a thousand free seller leads so you guys could actually get on the phone start cold calling these people emailing them and so forth to see if they have interest in selling in your local market so take a look at that link and as always i appreciate you guys being with me here today i'll see you guys on the next video